Yeah, that port is full of metal. Now these are, this is a bigger shaving. This is, this is... The... I mean, that's pretty, that's thick. This isn't just a, you know, just a small shaving. Yeah, that's a chunk. All right. Oh, it's crammed in that hole. Oh, we got some back here too. Hang on. Oh, this is a chunk. Yeah, see, the, this is more like the big pieces that we saw uh, in the photograph there. See, look at that. Ooh, that's not good. <clears throat> All right, well, let's pull the cam plate. Wow. All right, so what I'm going to look for here, I'm going to look for any crazy wear here from the from the gear rotors, and I I don't see any crazy wear there. Oh, well, that surface looks good. The surface here looks good. The bore looks good for the for the pinion shaft. And I can't, you know, unfortunately, this cast stuff like, you know, the s, &S plates, stuff you can take the plugs out and inspect and flush them out. I can't really do that on this one without trying to drill out plugs and all that type of stuff, which I'm, I'm not going to do. The bore for the, the cam looks fine. So, I don't see anything in the cam plate. Uh, Move to the oil pump. Oh man, this thing is full. Well, let's pull the cam first. All right, we've got like powder for metal on the cam here. Well, there was a small piece there. But the cam lobes Cam lobes look fine. Nothing there. The bearing surface. Bearing looks fine. Both ends. Let's see anything wrong with the cam. Let's see what we got in the oil pump. Yeah, there is slivers. Slivers galore. I don't wipe my hands off. I don't want to contaminate anything. We've got, yeah, we've got slivers there. On the bottom. So the inside, I don't see anything in the pump at all. No unusual wear, no shavings, nothing there. Let's see this side. Same there. No shavings. It's hard to tell. Uh, you know, I just have to flush the pump out, but the gear rotors themselves, they don't look too, they look visual inspection, they look fine. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's 
the inner gear rotors look fine. There's a tiny scar on there, but nothing nothing that would produce what we've what we've seen. I'm gonna slide this back together. Alright. God, metal everywhere. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, cage bearing. And her cam bearing feels fine. Yeah, we got metal. Hang on, let's scoop some of this out. All right, so we've got that in the bottom of the cam chest plus everything else we scooped out already yeah there's there's shavings in the ow damn it ow splinters Yeah, there's, man, there's, there's stuff all in these ports. Can't believe it didn't do any damage to the pump. I mean, for it, for it, understand, for it to be here and for it to be here means you would think it has to pass through the pump. But, and then through the filter. But it didn't. Well, not on this filter change anyway. All right, before I do anything else, I'm going to, uh, all right, I want everybody to take a close look because, again, I don't want, uh, the idea is step by step. You find out the same time I do. Uh, I am going to uh, cut the camera right now for a second because I want to get set up, and we're going to check crank run out on this thing real quick. I, man, I keep getting splinters. So I'm going to check crank run out on this, but before I, I spool it, I'm just going to set my tool up, bring you guys back, and uh, then we'll we'll go through that process. So uh, sit tight. I'll be back in just a second. All right, we're back. My Chick-fil-A sweet tea. No, Chick-fil-A did not provide me with a free sweet tea as a product endorsement. I just like their sweet tea. Fair enough. All right, so here we go. We're on zero. One, two, three. We've only got three and a half thousandths run out on the crank on this side. I don't even worry about checking the other side yet. Cam bearing looks good. Still a mystery. We've still got a ton of metal inside the oil ports on both the uh, front and rear galleys in here and now, now this is on the rear wow all right this rear exhaust now that looks more like drilling there let's see if i can show you guys a little better so that's out of the there So we know well. There's several things going on here. One of the other 
one of the other complaints, um, one of the other complaints was that the engine ran extremely hot, uh, hotter than normal. And of course, he was told that's normal. But the customer was smart enough to ride a couple other M8s, test ride them, and his he said his got considerably hotter. He could feel the difference. So, oh. There's no way I'm gonna be able to dig all this stuff out of there. Doesn't matter anyway, because we're gonna we've got to take the whole case apart anyway. Um, now there's more. Yeah, it's just more and more stuff. So anyway, he said that it was running extremely hot. Now, if these ports are full, then we've also got a clogged piston oiler. Excuse me, piston oiler. I'm sure. So, piston oiler not spraying, piston's going to get hotter, engine could potentially run hotter. That's another thing we want to look at. Now, if I look inside the bores, they don't look scarred. The bores themselves don't. I am doing a slide, slide a lifter in there just to see. It's not excessively loose. Anything is a little tight, but that could be from the dirt. That doesn't feel too bad either. Okay, let's open the top. All of them were torqued. We have no metal, we have nothing's contacted the rocker lid.
one's stuck. Might help if I took the last bolt out. <laughs> Unedited, unscripted, baby. There we go. Ah, much better. Same thing. No witness marks of any kind. Nothing there. Now, let's see if we got anything in the top. Strip these off. Don't see any metal in the top. Bearings feel fine. see anything there either my 12 points are missing actually the one 12 point that I need is missing Rock arm looks fine. No unexpected wear on the tip. None in the push rod pocket. Shaft feels fine. Guys, I've got a hunch as to what this is actually going to come down to. Um, we're not going to assume anything. But I, I believe at this point, I know exactly what this is. And, if, and I'm sure I'm going to challenge you guys. Leave a comment below. Leave a comment. Let me know at this point what you think this might be. Look at that. Now there's a little more wear in the push rod pocket on this one, but still the shaft feels shaft feels fine. Nothing unexpected. Same here.
All right, so I'm going to say at this point right here, we're going to do a contest. The first person to leave a comment that tells me what you think is wrong with this thing before we go a step further. The first person to comment and get it right is going to get a Skunk Works t-shirt or a Skunk Works timer cover engraved for us by the guys at Cobalt Cycles. So that was very nice of them to do that. They engraved some uh, really awesome looking timer covers for us with the Skunk Works logo on them. That's pretty cool. So first person to comment and get it right, you get a... Uh, to see if my hunch is right anyway. Actually, we'll do two giveaways. The first one to guess it, at this point, and if that actually works out to be what the problem is, <laughs> the first one that's right, the first one to guess it. Guys, I don't see any, I don't see anything on the top end here. Man. <clears throat> All right, so nothing there. I don't see any. No excel. Nothing there. I mean, there's a, a little bit of wear from the rockers, but not enough to not enough to justify what we're what we're talking about here. So let's keep going. Crazy, 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 crazy. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I didn't want to come out of there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Not broken. Not broken. I'm gonna get old. Well, and it's not necessarily the um, number of times, it's the urgency every time. <laughs> Getting old beats the alternative, buddy.
still not seeing any still not seeing any metal up here of any kind Still no metal. I don't see nope. any signs of any metal. Say hi, guy. You're on camera. Oh, hi. Here, just find a place. That's front stuff. That's rear stuff. Okay. Stuff. metal back there no contact points and let's keep going now nah, we're just gonna break the heads loose Too many people in my toolbox. Oh, it'd help if I grab the right size. What's wrong with me? It's because people have been in my toolbox moving stuff around. That's what's wrong. That and Half of my tools are at home from working on the Chevelle. Well, a good number of my tools are at home. Like my big pull handle and all that other stuff. All the good stuff. That ain't gonna happen. Let me go find a, find a pull handle. Guys, I'll be right back. 